Okay, so this loaf of bread was retarded overnight in the refrigerator, and I'm going to just pull the plastic off of it. And you can see that the bread has grown a little bit in volume in the refrigerator, and that's because the bread takes a little bit of time to cool down as it's in the refrigerator. And so by the time it reaches about 41 degrees, it will stop growing. And so we're going to bake this now. And when we bake it, we're going to load it into a Dutch oven. Or you could use, I, I like to use a, a, a cast iron pan with a lid on the top. And so to load it in, the first thing I do is I dust the, the surface of the bread with, you can use, um, I like to use a nice coarse rye flour, but you could also use like a wheat bran. Anything that sort of adds a little bit of friction so the top of the surface isn't sticky anymore. So I'm just going to dust the top of the surface of the bread with the rye flour. We're going to bake the bread in a preheated um, 500 degree oven and you're going to preheat the oven with the Dutch oven or the cast iron pan already in the oven so that the pan and the Dutch oven are hot. And so when you're using the oven just be very careful because you've got a very hot pan. Carefully lift the lid off of it. And all you need to do is just sort of wiggle the bread loose, sort of into the palm of your hand, and then let it drop into the oven. So you have your lom, or you could use an, a sharp knife or um, any kind of like razor blade, and you're gonna score the bread. And then with your mitts, just carefully put the lid back on. I can just go ahead and do this one. I'm going to dust this one very lightly with the rye flour. Be very careful when you're removing the lid. It's very hot. Use your hand to jiggle the loaf of bread out of the, the basket. and then score the bread. And then with your mitts, the lid goes back on. And then you're going to bake the bread for 20 minutes before you take the lids off of the pans. Okay, so our, our timer just went off and the loaves have been baking with their lids on them for 20 minutes. So we're going to check on our loaves and we're going to take the lids off at the same time. And what happens when you're taking the lid off, what that allows is when you, you have the lid on, you're capturing all of the steam into the, the pot and it helps to steam the bread. And you need to steam the bread because it lets the bread, you know, rise up very beautifully um, when there's um, steam present. But then at a certain point you need your loaves to brown and so you want the bread to start to dry out. And so at this point we're going to check on our loaves and we're going to take the lids off so that they can start to brown. There is a little steam when you take the lid off, so just be very careful when you're handling this. And you've got a nice little bit of browning, and that's exactly what you want when you take the lid off. Here's our second loaf. Just very gently take the lid off. And so at this point, I have been baking them at 500 degrees. And so what you want to do is turn the temperature down to 450 and I continue baking them. I'm going to check them after 15 more minutes and sort of see what their progress is like. Okay, so the sourdough bread has been in the oven for 45 minutes and I'm going to check on it. And I can see it's a really, really beautiful golden brown. I want this type of color. And then I'm going to use my hot mitts and, and lift the bread out of the pan just carefully. 
and I'm gonna do a tapping test on the bottom of the loaf and I'm listening for a hollow sound and that's how I know that the that enough moisture has evaporated out of the bread. Oh, that's a great sound. Um, so this bread is done. And I'm gonna just set it here on my cooling rack so it can cool down. I'm gonna check my other loaf. And this is the one that was baking in the Dutch oven. And it is also a beautiful golden brown. I'm gonna reach in there. And I'm gonna do a tap test on this one. And I love how that sounds. And what's beautiful about this bread is that A, it's like a beautiful mahogany. And what causes the bread to turn this color has a lot to do with the fermentation. And it has a lot to do with the fact that we retarded this bread overnight. And then I love how it has opened up into the score. And that's another sign too that this is a sourdough bread and that it's had a long fermentation. And then I don't know if you can notice this, but there are these beautiful little pocky marks on the side of the bread and all across the surface. And just looks really beautiful burnished color. And that's all also because we retarded the bread overnight in our refrigerator. So I'm going to let these loaves of bread cool down. And that's how you bake sourdough bread. <laughs>